Hello. Hello out there. We're gonna try this again. Hello. Let me know that you're out there. Hello. My name is Sarah and I work, that's a sign for work, at the library. And this is how we sign name. We make X's with our fingers. And you know, grownups, we often have to sign papers or put our name where there's an X. Welcome to the Columbus Metropolitan Libraries live story time on YouTube. So good to see everyone. Let me know that you can hear me out there. Is anyone out there? We are going to read and we are going to sing and we're gonna play because little ones have to play so that their brains and their bodies get big and strong and that's how they learn. So we're gonna do all those things, but we're also gonna practice the four skills all kids need to know before they go to kindergarten. We're gonna practice letters. That's knowing what letters are and that letters are different from numbers. We're gonna do uppercase letters and lowercase letters. So yeah, let me know you're out there and we're also gonna do rhyming. That's when words sound the same. Yep, and we're also gonna practice words so many words and picture books. Another great reason to share books with our little ones so we can talk about what those words mean. The more books we share with them, the more words they learn. All right, so I want us to get started. All right, Winnie's here. Let me know you can hear me. Winnie's here today. Winnie's here today. Let's give a cheer, let's give a cheer, cause Winnie's here today. Hooray, Winnie's here. Let me know who else is out there. Do I see anyone else out there? Oh, is Harvey here today? I think Harvey's got here today. Harvey's here today. Harvey's here today. Let's give a cheer, let's give a cheer, cause Harvey's here today. Hooray, Harvey! Who else is out there with me today? I wanna make sure I got our little one's names. So like I said, we're gonna read and we're gonna sing, and we're also gonna practice our letters. Wonder what letter we will talk about today. Anyone know, hmm, what letter we're going to do? Hmm, anyone can tell me? Hmm, I think I see a letter. What is it? Yeah, it's our letter M. M, this is how we sign M. We take three little fingers and put our thumb under those fingers. Yeah, M, and M says mmm, right? Like, mmm, something's yummy, mmm. M and M. Look at these, how we make the M. Lots of lines, they go up and down, and then our little M has some humps on it, too. So I'm gonna pull out my marker here, and oh, there we go, because I wanna show you little ones and grown-ups. I'm gonna show how we write that M. It's really great practice, grown-ups, to have your little ones practice the different shapes you know, because shapes come together and make those letters. And so the shapes that make our letters, we go down and then up. We start at the bottom and go up and then down and then up and then down with a little bit of a slant there. Okay, that's our uppercase M. And now I'm going to do our lowercase M. And here I go. I'm going to start kind of in the middle here because it's not as big, right? It's a smaller letter and I'm gonna go down and then up and hump and then hump again. There's our lower case M. But look at this C grown-ups. I want to show you another letter. Okay, there's our M, but look at this. What letter is this? I go down and then up and a hump. That's our N. Our N it looks a lot the same as M. They look a lot the same, so all the more reason to practice our letters. And also, Winnie is out there. I know Winnie's out there, and I wanna 
show you, this will mean a lot to her, I know, because we've got our uppercase M, or, but our uppercase M, but look at this. Look at this letter. Whoa. That looks a lot like our M. <laughs> but it's a W. A W, like for winning, right? So that's visual discrimination, grown-ups. We've got to practice helping our little ones see the differences in our letters. So I want us to get started with a song. We talked about our letter, but this is a song and we're gonna do some signs with it, okay? And it's gonna be like, here is hello. Yep, we do hello. And then we'll do friend. We take our fingers together and our fingers, and they like, friends like to give each other a hug, right? And this is how we sign say. Yeah, and then this is time. All right, so we're gonna put that together. Ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, everyone. So we've got M and things that start with M. I'm thinking of something that comes out at night and it's shiny and it can be a big circle or it could be smaller. Hmm, wonder who knows what is that thing that starts with the letter M? Is it the ma 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 moon? It's moon, right? Here is our moon, M for moon. And then, oh, now this one, you know, they can be a little bit scary sometimes, but often silly, and they're not real. Oh, what is that? It starts with the letter M. It's ma 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 monster, right? It's our monster, M for monster. And now this little animal goes squeak, squeak, squeak. It's a little, little animal. And it goes squeak, squeak, squeak. It's a mouse, right? There's our mouse. And now, oh, we're going to play some of that. Here we go. This, oh, we're going to play some of that. And we can either sing it or we can use instruments. And it's ma 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 music, right? We have stories about music today. And, you know, grown-ups, we introduce music early on with our little ones because it helps them hear the smaller sounds in words. And nursery rhymes, often they go to music. And I have a nursery rhyme. I want to see if you can guess, my little ones out there, what nursery rhyme I have. I'm going to turn over my board. I'm going to flip it here. Whoa! Here are my characters. And we're going to see if you know this nursery rhyme. Hmm, let's see. What do I have here? Who can help me? Tell me. I've got... A moon, yeah, moon and stars, and I've got, there's a cat who has a fiddle, and then I've got a, a cow, and then I've got a dog, and then, oh, this looks like a, hmm, what is this, a dish, yeah, and it looks like I've got a, what's this, a spoon, yeah, what is this, nursery rhyme, oh, yeah, it's hey diddle diddle, let's say it together. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. There goes our cow. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Good job. It's a way to introduce music to our little ones. Now, I've got a book by one of my favorite authors that I'm going to read to you and sing. We're going to sing, and I want you to sing with me. And there's some new verses in this book. This is by Jane Cabrera, one of my favorites. Her books are fantastic grown-ups for our little ones because their pictures are just beautiful, perfect, good colors for our little ones, and great rhyming. Got to practice that rhyming with our little ones. And maybe you know this song. 
It's called Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Yeah, so you can sing it with me. It's Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And now watch the screen closely because we're going to see what happens in this book. Oh, I see lots of animals. Do you see lots of animals? I think there are going to be some animals in this story, don't you think? Let's see. Oh, yep, I see my boat here. And I see the water, yeah. <laughs> That's probably the stream, isn't it? Uh -huh. And there's oh, some of our animals. Oh, and here we are. It's ready to start. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Great! Don't you love those pictures? Row, row, row your boat slowly down the creek. If you see the swimming mice, don't forget to squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh no, look. Oh, watch out for those mice. Yeah, now row, row, row your boat. Splish and splash and splatter. Listen for the rhymes, grown-ups. If you see the monkey swing, don't forget to chatter. <laughs> Look at our monkey! Silly monkey. Row, row, row your boat past the old tree stump. If you see the elephant, don't forget to Here we go. Row, row, row your boat through the narrow gap. If you see the, whoa, crocodile, don't forget to snap. Snap. <laughs> the crocodile snapping at you. Row, row, row your boat. Closer to the shore. If you see a lion smile, don't forget to roar. Roar. I that lion. It's a great lion, isn't it? Row, row, row your boat. Watch the tiger prowl. Whoa. If you see his mighty pants, don't forget to Oh, there goes our tiger. Now, oh, this one's nice. Row, row, row your boat beneath the sky so blue. If you see the singing doves, don't forget to Coo, 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 yeah. It's kind of more of a bluebird, isn't it? But that's okay. Yeah, it can work. And see, acting out stories grown ups is a great way for our little ones to really understand what's happening in the story. Now, row, row, row your boat. Now it's getting dark. If you see the mommy dog, don't forget to bark. There's our doggy. This is a nice doggy. Good doggy. Thanks for coming, doggy. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Wearily, 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 wearily. Snuggle up and dream. There they are. Oh, little ones went to sleep in the boat. And look, here's our music. 
So if you got this book, Grown Ups and Little Ones, you would have all the music and the notes and the extra verses here. There we go. That's by Jane Cabrera. Well, it looks like that's all the time I have to share books and songs with you, but thank you for coming. And I hope I see you again here at our live story time on YouTube every Thursday morning at 10 o'clock or in the library branches. I would love to see you in the library. And again, my name is Sarah and I work at the library. I hope you come see me. Now I want us to do our goodbye song. Okay, and our goodbye song is a lot the same as our hello song. We're gonna use some of the same signs. This is the sign for goodbye. We go goodbye and then we go friends. You know, we have two friends and they say hello to each other and they give each other a hug like this, right? And then say, that's how we sign say. And this is the sign for time, okay? So we're gonna put all that together. But thank you again for being here. All right. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. And thank you. Thanks for coming.